crazy budget shot don't deserve we deserve For our family, like most families who use the BPS, it's not one of the options. It is the option, and it has got to work. I think you invest in early child education, pre-K, universal pre-K for all families who want that child in the pre-K seat. We know that when the children who use the pre-K seats now do better the entire time in schools, so we know there's a relationship. We also have to put, I believe, two adults in the classrooms at least in those early years. Up until third grade, a child is learning to read, and from third grade on, they're reading to learn. And so with they're not reading at level at third grade, the rest of their time in school becomes that much more difficult. So we have to invest and make sure they're at level. I also think it's time to extend the school day uh, and to ensure that every child has access to arts, theater, music, phys ed, sports. And I also think it's time to look at our high school curriculum and make sure we're preparing people for tomorrow, not yesterday. There should be science, technology, engineering, math introduced to all students, financial literacy introduced to all students. Uh, civics introduced to all students, and a college prep class that allows all students to apply for college, financial aid, and scholarships while in a classroom setting. Because uh, for many of the students who use the BPS, they'll be the f either the first or one of the few in their family to go to college. And I think when we implement these changes, we'll see some dramatic results in our education. Uh, I first expect to focus on quality. We want the best quality schools for our students here in the city of Boston. We have 57,000 students in the Boston public schools, and I want them to have an excellent uh, opportunity to learn, um, to flourish, to be able to be cut, uh, meet standards, and to be able to um, grow and develop um, into productive human beings, and to be able to leave the system career ready and college ready. That's going to mean that I'm going to have to work on a number of things. I think we have a golden opportunity to bring in a dynamic, experienced Boston Public Schools superintendent, um, someone who has worked in an urban school district, who understands what quality is and how to achieve it, who will have clear benchmarks and a timetable for um, improving quality in our schools, who will invite parents to become more involved in the schools, who will enlist the support of partners, and, and much more. I'd love to see that the school superintendent has a plan to move some of the authority down to the school level, to allow principals and teachers to be entrepreneurial and to work closely with their students so that they have a first-rate education. And I'd also like to see that vocational high school of ours, Madison Park High School, be the best high school in terms of voc ed here in the city of Boston and in the state of Massachusetts. In the high school level, I plan on bringing Votech schools to Boston, not just in Madison Park, but looking at bringing Votech programs into all schools. I'm looking at bringing some life science programs as well into Boston, particularly in the high school level, uh, so that we can prepare our young people to, for a job in either the trades or in life sciences, or if they go on to college, be prepared for college. Also looking at bringing some art programs back into the, into the schools of Boston. Uh, we lost those programs a long time ago. Some schools have them. Uh, not many schools do have them, and I think it's important to bring in a variety of different programming in schools so young people have the opportunity to get different types of educational experiences. To improve education, I plan on ensuring that we have a citywide learning system, one that supports uh, students and gives them whatever they need. If they need a longer school day, that's what they should have. If they need a longer school year, that's what they should have. As executive director of the Bell Street Neighborhood Initiative, we were a site that provided Saturday schools to schools to students that needed more support to pass the MCAS. We worked specifically with the Burke students and Dearborn students to make sure that those who had failed the MCAS on the first go around had support and a majority of those students ended up passing the MCAS. We should make sure that Boston gives students what they need. Uh, in order to eliminate the achievement gap, we need to provide for uh, the kind of programs that would eliminate the opportunity gap. And a lot of that can be found in a large, longer school day and a longer school year. I also plan to support teaching. Teachers are the hearts of our schools. They make uh, schools work. And so supporting teaching and making sure that teachers have development programs and development opportunities is critical for the success of our schools. Supporting the local school leadership is also important in making sure that we have strong school leaders in our schools. And then finally, I think that we need to make sure that all schools have the proper materials and proper facilities for learning. Some of our, some of our schools are in really bad buildings and bad shape and 
they don't need us to just patch up the building. They need a whole new facility, and we need to make sure that they get it. I think we have to do a lot to make our schools better for our young people. I want to make sure every young person in this city can get a high quality education. I'm a former teacher, taught children, uh, students, young people from every neighborhood in Boston. I'm a Boston Public School parent and I'm chair of the City Council's Committee on Education. Uh, I would focus first on cutting the bureaucracy in the central school department to free up resources that we could invest in our schools. I want to build our schools from the bottom up rather than letting a top-heavy bureaucracy uh, in the central school department tie up a lot of money that never reaches the classroom. I want to reform our teachers' contract so that we can get a longer school day uh, for our young people so that every student in every Boston Public School can access arts, music, physical education, humanities, and science on a regular basis for the entire school year. Uh, I want to also put a lot of money in training uh, world-class principals so that we have great principals in every school. We're going to work with teachers and families uh, to make schools uh, great and to have innovative different types of schools throughout the city that meet the needs of all of our young people. I think these are the keys to transforming our schools. And the last piece is I'd like to create partnerships uh, with every school. Uh, but in particular for our high schools, I want to partner each one of them uh, with a private sector business, with a college and university, and with a community-based organization or trade union and create college to career pathways and vocational pathways uh, that will help young people get jobs or get into college with financial aid uh, when they graduate from high school. So there's a few things. I'd like to see early education and we know that that is the key change agent uh, when it comes to young people. Uh, and I'd like to see it in schools that need it most. You know, the schools that no one wants to go to, those are the schools we've got to fix first. That's how we're going to fix education. And then we need to extend the day. So to extend the day by two hours, not half an hour, not an hour, by two hours, not so that we can add math or science for 10 minutes more. That's not what's going to revolutionize our schools. What is going to revolutionize our schools are filling those two hours with art and music and gym and dance and things that really make a difference. Um, so those are things I'd like to do. And I think the most game-changing thing we can do uh, is um, bringing a technical vocational school to the city of Boston. Madison Park, but Madison Park needs to be that tech voc school because not everyone's going to go to college. A lot of kids are going to want to learn a trade, are going to want to learn a skill. A skill. They're going to want to be inspired in some other way. And I think that that is one of the major things we have to do. So early ed, extended day, tech folk high school, those are the key changes that I'd like to bring to our school system. That and you know, the greatest superintendent that we can find in the country right now uh, who would come to Boston and who could run a one billion dollar enterprise but who also understands urban education. Uh, this is probably the most important issue the next mayor will face but I believe even more profound than that it's a social justice issue. There are a number of young individuals in our city who are not getting the education that they deserve. And the next mayor has to really take that opportunity, the opportunity that presents itself, to work hard to close the achievement gap. And I would do it this way. First of all, I would invest in universal, preschool, high-quality education for all children living in Boston. Now, middle-class uh, families and those of means uh, are doing this anyway. I'm uh, hoping to invest in children who are from the working class or the working poor or those living in poverty. They should have the same opportunity at high quality universal preschool education. Studies show that if you have that opportunity, I'm talking in the early stages of life, two and a half, three years old, all the way up till kindergarten, when the mind is really most flexible and developmental possibilities are uh, great, uh, you'll do much better in school. And you also learn other social skills. I'm not talking about math and reading, but I'm talking about self-control. I'm talking about paying attention to the teacher or resolving conflicts. They call those skills student-centered skills. And that's a great asset that you acquire when you have universal high-quality preschool for everybody. So when, the, when you walk into school on day one, whether it's kindergarten or first grade, you're ready to learn. If I'm elected mayor, I also want to make sure that the school day gets a bit longer, that uh, that will allow for science, art, and music to be added to the curriculum. Those are the first subjects that are cut. But longer school days, 
also seem to translate into better results. I'll also be about empowering parents and giving them more choices. This means expanding charter schools. This means increasing uh, autonomy in a traditional public school. Let the principal and the teachers be innovative and creative and come up with good ideas and not be encumbered by rules coming from 26 Court Street, which is school headquarters, or the union. Uh, I also want to invest in innovation schools, which are kind of like charter schools, but again, allow a lot of great decision making down um, in the school level. I want to emphasize science, technology, engineering, and math for our students, because these are where the jobs of the 21st century are going to be. And I want to make sure far more kids graduate from high school. Even if you don't go on to college, graduating from high school will help get a good middle class or blue collar job. But if you drop out, the chances of living in poverty go up into a high level and that has to stop.